Hello fellow makers, welcome to the first episode of 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I have a knife and I have boxes to unpack, so stick around. Welcome back makers. As you can see in front of me, I have two boxes. I have the original Prusa i3 Mark II and I also have a Micromake Delta 3D printer. I should also have a third box here, which hasn't arrived yet, which contains the OneHound Duplicator i3 Plus. Um, uh, but I waited a bit to buy that uh, due to Black Friday deals, which saved me a hundred euros, so yay. Um, however, this has been here for about a week. This has been here for about three days and I can't stand having them sealed up in boxes any longer. I, this is, these are my first ever 3D printers. I've never used 3D printers before. 3D printers absolutely fascinate me. The creativity all, the, the making things, it's absolutely awesome. Um, so we'll start unboxing one by one and we'll take it from there. So before I start unpacking, I thought to myself, I explain exactly why I got the original Prusa i3 Mark II, the Micromate Delta 3D and the One How Duplicator i3 Plus. Originally, I had backed a project on Kickstarter, um, the Peachy printer, and we all know how that went. Um, uh, so I started reigniting the search for a 3D printer. Uh, and after looking online, trying to do the reviews that see the reviews that everyone sees when they try to make the choice um, and I couldn't find the answer I thought to myself okay I enjoy building things I enjoy making things um, so the the Prusa uh, Mark II um, uh, was the perfect fit for me it had very good reviews and it's a kit which I can build myself um, so I placed the order for that about five weeks ago uh, unfortunately on the evening that I uh, that I placed the order. The lead items change from one to two weeks to three to four weeks. Um, so it's been ordered for about five weeks. Um, it took a little bit longer to arrive simply for the fact that I asked them to leave a note um, uh, and have Yosef Prusa sign it so I can show it off here. Um, but I'm, I, I guess um, Yosef is much busier than I could possibly imagine um, and I don't blame him for it. Um, however, in those five weeks, it, it, it sort of gave me time to think. Uh, in the meantime, there was the sale on AliExpress, um, the 11.11 sale, and I found the Micromake Delta 3D printer. Um, it was about $250, it had heated bed, it had auto leveling, and it's the kind of printer that you can mess around with, tinker, improve. So I said, why not? Then Black Friday came last week, and I thought to myself, okay, uh, I, maybe we should get another printer, find a good deal. So um, after doing a bit more research, I found out that the OneHow Duplicator i3 has a massive community online. Um, it's not the perfect printer, needs tinkering. So I said, perfect fit for me. Let's get that on board as well. And so there it is. Now I have three 3D printers as my first 3D printer. Yay. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I start opening. This has been here for about three days and it's it's been killing me. I've been watching it closed, eating me up. So now let's put this on. And we'll see what's inside. So we have we have the 3D printed handbook, printing handbook. Yes, I've read I should be reading this very thoroughly. I actually have been reading this, uh, not from the box um, online. <laughs> the um, um, the, uh, the Prusa research website has a lot of information. Everything you get here, you can possibly get online. Um, so we have the testing protocol. We have my invoice. I also want to add that on the same day they are ordered that I ordered the, the printer. I also placed a pre-order for the four color multicolor add-on. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so that should arrive end of November. Well, they, they, they were initially set out to ship end of November, but I'm guessing that the lead times will be extended a bit uh, following the amount of work that uh, Prusa Research have had recently. So assembly instructions. 
Yay! <laughs> Candy! Uh, more bags. So, we have our power supply. Power cable. Let's change the cable. We're going to the right cable. Oh, these are not from my country. We have... This is a spool, a filament. I think I ordered the black. Yeah. So. Awesome. So I, I, I need to add that, obviously, also during these five weeks, I set out a lot of orders. Um, I signed up to the rigid.ink club. Um, I've signed up to MakerBox. Um, yesterday I signed up to 3D Geekbox. Geekbox, something like that. I can't remember exactly the name. And I also have about 10 kilos of filament. Um, so I have a lot of printing to do. So, my trusty knife. Hopefully I won't break anything. This is so exciting. I swear, having these boxes sealed in here is one of the hardest things ever. These are the 3D printed parts. I actually saw this right here. I don't know which part this is. But this is the first ever 3D printed part I'm holding in my hand. And this is, this is awesome. This is amazing. This is going to be so cool. I, I can't, I absolutely cannot wait to start creating things. So, 3D printed parts. Yay. Okay, next box. Next box. Not to be confused with Xbox. This has acupuncture needle. All right, this is to clean the nozzle. Okay. And also will come in handy if I get my migraines. Ooh, this is awesome. I might say 90% of the things in here, I have no idea what they're called. Um, it, usually when I tend to do a project, when I try to build something, even in my garage, if I need something from the hardware store, I'll just go to the hardware store, um, who by now know me very well. Um, and since I don't know the name of pretty much either tools or accessories, I try to explain what they are. I try to paint them and I'll go the thing that's round that goes in the thing and eventually they get it. So I made a lot of friends like that. But this is... These are a lot of bags. <laughs> These are a lot of bags. Ooh. Of course. This is... What is this? All right, this is the LCD screen. I have my SD card in here. Tools, yay. More tools. I love tools. USB cable. Uh, stick of glue. This is the Rambo board. Now, that's another thing. I have no idea what the difference between Rambo and ramps and so on and so forth. Ah, what I did do also in these five weeks. See, this is what happens when you have too much time to wait for things to be delivered. You have time to think. And when you have time to think, you end up spending money. Um, so I also bought the Raspberry Pi 3 um, in order to do Octoprint. I have no idea how I'm gonna start doing that, but hey, who cares? <laughs> uh, bed leveling sensor, ooh, nozzle, yeah. And this is, what is this? Not a tough one too. Looks like I don't know. Looks like three millimeter filament. I have no idea what it is, so I'm gonna I have an excuse. So we'll put these back in there. This is really expensive. 
Mr. K. Next. This is, I'm guessing, the 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 back the back plate back plate. I don't know what you call it. It's the metal plate. This is what I had asked um to 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 get signed, but I highly doubt that happened. Um, while I was a bit mad about it not happening, a couple of days ago, Yosef Prusha um posted on Twitter that PayPal had frozen the company's uh, funds and they couldn't even. Uh, refund any customers due to the fact that they're growing too big so i figured eh, his problems are much bigger than mine so we'll we'll forgive him um he's in bed yeah but you know not signed oh well next one yeah there will be a next one i'm quite sure that actually i'm quite sure there will be a next one because if this channel is successful and i reach 10,000 subscribers i'm going to give this away Yes, that's that's my promise. Now, motor kits. Ooh, ooh. These are the stepper motors. Yay. Nima 17. See, I, I, I wouldn't have known whether they're 17, 14, 18, or any other number because I don't know the difference. Um, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yay. And we have something heavy. All right, rods. Rods, and I'm guessing those are the are the the cable black wrapping thingies. See, that's what I mean. Hardware store, me explaining. Uh, threaded rods, awesome. This is so awesome. Okay. It's finally out of the box. I'm so, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I feel so glad. Right, it's time for the Micromate Delta 3D printer. Um, now, being a printer from China, I'm, I'm not expecting any possible customer support that might come after this. Um, so, I, 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 I figured, I'll, yeah, we'll learn as we go along. I, I actually did a bit of research online and on... Um, on Thingiverse, actually, there are quite a few things to add on to it. Um, and I know that I would like to upgrade the rods that hold the extruder, extruder? Nozzle. The nozzle um, to, to magnetic ones because they're, they're a bit better. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we'll see. Packing. Ooh, this is this is nicely packed. This is nicely packed with... Ooh, this is um, so, let's start with one. Number one. Number one is the plastic parts. Actually, these these aren't three D printed parts. Um, they're they're. I forgot what the terminology is. They're they're filled. They're pressed. They're molded. Molded. Plastic moldings. Yes, they're plastic moldings. Um, so. Number two, a bit heavier. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a trend here. <laughs> Everything is written in Chinese. Um, <laughs> so we have the stepper motors here, 17. Um, we have the things. I'll learn <laughs> what these things are called. To, to, this is actually considering that the the Delta the the Delta 3D printer is actually quite large. I think it has a build volume of about, if I'm correct, it's about eighteen so sixteen centimeters in diameter and about thirty two centimeters in height. So this will probably be like a vase printer kind of thing. Ooh, we have the uh, we have the uh, the the chassis. I'm guessing. Um, the aluminium ones, the aluminium rods. Awesome. I love the color. I, I really like the color. Okay, that goes there. Last box, number four. Oh no, it's not the last box. There's a box in the box. Okay, we have... 
I'm guessing this is a packing list in Chinese. If something's missing, I'm screwed. <laughs> I won't know what it is. Um, we have a roll of tape, masking tape. This was this was an extra add-on actually. Uh, I paid about thirty dollars to get the heated plates, the uh, the more powerful power supply, and also the roll of tape. Whether or not I got screwed over in that, I don't know. Yeah. But at thirty dollars, I, I I felt it was worth it. Damn it, Carl. Um, yeah, this is not the kind of plug we use. The, the, this is the kind of plug that we use. So um, I, I, I'm going to need to change all this. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the only issue we have in this country is that we also earth things. Um, this doesn't, so I'll, I'll have to make my own earth in order not to, I don't know, electrocute myself. Um, this has Teflon tube, thermistor, more cables, fans, limit switches. I see, yeah, I'm not. see learning, learning. And we have the this this is the E three D version five um, nozzle. I honestly, honestly don't know what exactly the difference is between the V5, the V6, the Mark 10, which is on the Wenhao Duplicator i3 Plus, which I'm getting. Um, uh, this is J head. What is J head? Please let me know. Um, what was the difference? What does it do? Okay, I, I think I got it just now. It looks like a J. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we've got some rollers, we've got some bearings. Um, man, this is this is awesome. I've, Jesus. Nuts, bolts. Thankfully, they're all the same color, all the same size. So from an engineering, st engineering standpoint, sorry, it's still very early here. That's actually quite cool. Um, we have the belt there you go these are the rods these are the ones which i would like to upgrade because after a bit of research i found out that they they have a bit of play although these actually i i'm not seeing a lot of play i can't feel a lot of play in these um however i know there's um there's an upgrade to these which is which has uh, magnetic balls and, and ends which hold them in place and everything so that's something I'll definitely be looking into. Um, so, power supply. Huh? Power supply? Sorry, in my mind I'm thinking, if there's a power supply, why do I have another power supply? Um, yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out as we go on. Um, okay, that's box number five. We have... USB cable, more cables, LCD panel, and we have the the circuit board, uh, the main board. Um, has microme on it. Um, I honestly speaking, I don't know what kind of main board this is, um, but it has a barcode on it, so we can scan that and figure something out. And we have the glass plates. Ooh, nice, heavy. So that goes there. Of um, just noticing something. There's no instructions. <laughs> this is no instructions. All right. Now this this is actually um, something I did read up on before I ordered this, um, and there was a very particular reason why I ordered this. Um, it's because it had the linear, linear rods, linear bearings, linear bearings. Yes, linear bearings. Because um, I read that they're 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 much more accurate um, running up and down the z-axis. These are actually quite heavy. Um, this this was an expensive add-on, um, which we actually came up to two hundred fifty dollars something. So 
I, I'm guessing the printer was fairly cheap and about a hundred something dollars, but these these were almost uh, I think about eighty dollars. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, there's actually a small packet with three with three small balls, metal balls. I'm guessing this to replace the ball bearings inside. So yeah, awesome. Now instructions. We don't have instructions. I I know there's something online. There's there's a barcode scan here, so I'm guessing I can let me hold on because I cause, cause I do have a barcode scanner scanner. Um sorry, as as you might have possibly noticed, lang uh, English is not my first language. It's my second language in this country. Um but I I, I kinda try to treat it as my first language. So Ooh, okay. We're waiting, we're loading, and taking you to a Chinese site. And there are videos. Okay, so we have videos um, of how to assemble this. Um, <laughs> description is in Chinese. Uh, thankfully, they're in order. Um, Let's subtitles, hopefully. Fingers crossed. No, yes, maybe load. It's like a, a Yuku, <laughs> not YouTube, it's Yuku. Um, so I'm guessing it's um, okay, this is not porn. These are the instructions. This is going to be an interesting build. Um, so, there's no instructions in the box. Um, there are videos. Um, videos, instructional videos. Uh, in Chinese, this will be a very interesting build for me. Um, because this will be the first of the three printers which I will actually build. Um, now I'll I'll do a video on the build of this. Um, it'll probably be a time lapse because having to go through those videos is is just going to be insanely long, too much editing. Um, so I'll put up a GoPro and do a time lapse of that. Um, all right, that was fun. I I oh I, it's like retail therapy. I was dying to open these boxes. Uh, but now they're open and I'm happy. Um, so what we're going to do is um, I the the one how duplicator i3 should arrive in about three days. Um, we'll do another video of that. We'll do an unboxing and from what I can tell it's a fairly easy build so we can sort of plug it in and try it out. Um, and in a week's time uh, on Sunday the 4th December I'm thinking of doing a live stream of the Prusa i3 Mark II build. Um, let me know in the comment section whether or not you'd be interested to see, yes, yet another live stream of the build. Um, uh, I, strictly speaking, I'm, I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably seen a million unboxing of, of the Prusa i3 Mark II, but it's unboxing. Who doesn't like unboxing? And, and I've, I've watched a million unboxing and I wanted to do an unboxing because yay, it's, it's fun. Um, let me know whether or not you would like to see a live stream uh, next Sunday um, uh, on the 4th of December and um, I'll see what I can do. I, I've never streamed live online before. This is my first YouTube video ever. Um, so please bear with me. I'm a noob in this, so uh, the settings might be wrong, it might not be clear, microphone might be bad. Um, I have ordered a few things to sort of make things a bit better. Uh, I have an external video capture card coming, I have uh, a lavalier microphone coming, I have a different lens coming for the camera. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let me know in the comment section below. Um, did you enjoy this? Um, what would you like to see? Um, I'm, I'm going to try to upload as much content as I possibly can, at least two to three times a week. 
Um, I'll be doing lots of builds, lots of, lot, I'll be making lots of designs. I'll be printing a lot, as I said, 10 kilos of filament and more on the way. Um, and yeah, let me know. Please subscribe. Um, um, I, I also have a, a Twitter account. You can find me at, at 3D Maker Noob. Um, let me know if there's anything you would like to see, if you have any requests, um, and, and I'm, I'll do my best to accommodate all the requests that I get. Um, in the meantime, have fun, happy making, and I'll see you in the next one.